Hello YouTube, Brendan here from the Gamers Association and I'm here to bring you my team builder for Joe and the Yorkie of Eltos. This is Championship Battle and I'm hyped for it. Week 1, I defeated Joe 4-0. In my honest opinion, it didn't feel like a 4-0. It felt so much closer than that. Uh, but let's see what the Championship Battle will bring us. Uh, so let's dive right in. I'm going to read you guys Joe's team, and then I'm going to uh, quickly tell you what I'm predicting him to bring, and then I'll go into my team that I'm bringing. Joe drafted Talonflame, Garchomp, Honchkrow, Milotic, Conkelder, Sigilyph, Electros, Kabutops, Vileplume, Driftblim, Cryogonal, and Mega Scizor. Now, that's a pretty scary team. And out of that, the six mods I'm predicting him to bring are, as you can see right here, I'm predicting him to bring Mega Scizor, Conkelder, Milotic, Garchomp, Electros, and Cryogonal. Now, Electros is a little scary because it's so versatile. It, it can get Giga Drain, Drain Punch, Flamethrower, but the main thing is U-Turn. It gets U-Turn and Volt Switch. U-Turn is something I think he might bring because I have Jolteon that gets Volt Absorb which he can uh, have U-turn on instead. So he could bring like a full out physical Electros. Um, so if he does that, he'll have U-turn most likely instead of Volt Switch because of the Jolteon that I have. Speaking of Jolteon, this is going to be the team I'm bringing against Joe. It does have Jolteon on it. But uh, I'm bringing Rotom Heat with Thunderbolt Volt Switch overheat and reflect reflect and light clay that way man I can take hits from I can take a dragon claw from the Garchomp better I can take a sucker punch from haunch crow better I can take a flare blitz brave bird whatever from the talent flame drain punch mock punches from Conkelder, um drain punches from the electros uh, I don't really want to take anything from the Kabutops because that still hits hard uh, Ice Shard from Cryogonal if he brings it, and then definitely the main thing, hits from Mega Scizor such as Superpower. Um, I have 16 speed investment only because if he tries to speed creep my Rotom Heat with Mega Scizor or my Lodic or anything, I have a little bit of speed EVs that way I can speed creep his speed creep if that makes sense. Uh. Moving on to Kofagrigus, Rocky Helmet. This thing takes hits from the Scizor being max physical defense. I'm going to say max, special defense. Um, max physical defense with Rocky Helmet. This thing can Will-O-Wisp the Mega Scizor if he leaves it in. Now, I don't think he will. If he has knockoff, then maybe. But I still don't think he wants his Mega Scizor burnt. But once the Milotic and Conkelder drop... Uh, I can just Willow if he switches in on Talonflame if he brings it that's not a big deal but Conkelder I don't want it getting gu a guts boost and my Lodic, I don't want it having Marvel skill because that's just going to hurt me so much uh, next one the Jolteon now this is a choice card to Jolteon and I'm only bringing it that way I don't get absolutely destroyed by choice scarf Garchomp Choice Scarf Garchomp is scary to my team. It's really scary. And I don't want to bring Amoongus this week because honestly, he has things that can hit it for good damage. And I don't want to bring like the same exact team from last, from week one that I battled him. I really don't want to do that. I mean, I brought me in Shao and Amoongus, but oh well. But Choice Scarf that way uh just enough speed to outspeed Scarfed Garchomp. That's all I needed for. I'd rather go modest though, instead of timid. Uh because I'd rather have Jolteon hitting harder than just having more special defense investment. Uh I mean the special defense the special defense investment would help with Cryogonal and Milotic and whatnot, but I think I'll be fine. Uh, Steelix, custom berry. I'll talk to my Steelix. This thing hopefully will do work. Um, 
Custa Berry allows me to get up Stealth Rocks or go for one last Iron Head or Fire Fang before Steelix drops. Um, Sheer Force Fire Fang will hurt the Mega Scissor. Sheer Force Iron Head will hurt a lot of other things. Um, I can't touch Garchomp with this, but I don't want to stay in on Garchomp regardless. Uh, enough speed EVs to outspeed Mega Scizor when I am at plus two. Max speed Mega Scizor caps out at 273. At plus two, Steelix will be 274. So, uh, Autotomize does raise speed plus two. Uh, a Fire Fang is for that Mega Scizor, it'll hurt. Uh, Stealth Rock, he has a lot of rock weaknesses. So Stealth Rock will hopefully do something in this battle if I can get it up. Uh, now Manaphy. Uh, the one thing I really want to talk about this Manaphy is uh, it has enough speed to outspeed Max Speed Mega Scizor. With it, that's a lot of things have uh, speed to outspeed Mega Scizor because that thing's so scary. Um, it's actually 274 because of the Hidden Power Fire IVs, but. Uh, because you'll see on Altaria it's 275. But uh, I'm bringing Yachi Berry. Now, Ice is not super effective. It's not very effective on water. But I'm bringing Yachi Berry because he has that Cryogonal that gets freeze dry, which is super effective on Manaphy. And I don't want to take it. I really don't want to take it. If something comes up and it specs freeze dry, that is going to hurt. So that's why I have Yachi Berry on it. Uh, Hidden Power Fire won't do too much because Cryogonal is very specially bulky. But uh, hopefully, man, if you can put in work, I just have defense EVs that way I can take uh, a Bug Bite and Super Power on one off from uh, Mega Scissor. Now, Mega Altaria. Enough speed to outspeed Max Speed Mega Scissor again. Um. But, at plus one, I outspeed everything on his team, except for, uh, like, Scarfed Garchomp, Flame Charge, Talonflame, like, it's, some things I won't outspeed, if he brings, like, Scarf Sigilyph, I can't outspeed that either, but, um, Flamethrower, I have for the Scizor, but the main thing is, Flamethrower 2 shots it. Doesn't one shot it, because it's not stab. But, Mega Scizor 2 shots me with stab, super effective technician bullet punch. 2 shots me. Now, if he run, if I run this spread right here, I have a chance uh, to live a bullet punch. From the Mega Scizor, if it's burnt. Now, what I mean by that is he can hit me with one bullet punch. I can take that. If he gets burnt by the flamethrower, which I know isn't a huge chance of happening, but if it does happen and he gets burnt by the flamethrower, we have a chance to live the next bullet punch, roost up, roost again, and then flamethrower again. So, hopefully that happens. We need that to happen. But, um, that's why we have that amount of defense investment. I'm naive because I want Flamethrower to hit hard. But, uh, what I will say before this video ends is the battle will be taking place Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this means this will be uploaded Sunday after the battle, and the battle will be uploaded on Monday. Uh, so let's see if we can pull out a W and make it 3-0 and in championships. We'll see if we can do it. I'm really hyped for the battle. I hope you guys are too. But I've been Brandon. Whew, I'm so nervous and I'm scared for that battle. But I'm Brandon, and I'm out.